Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's so good to have you here with me today. You know, there's something truly special about getting your hands in the dirt, about nurturing something from a tiny seed and watching it grow. For me, a garden is so much more than just a plot of land. It's a place of connection, a space where we can slow down and appreciate the simple, beautiful rhythms of nature. And the heart of any great garden, the real foundation of it all, is the soil. It's the lifeblood that nourishes everything we hope to grow. Today, I want to share something that's really close to my heart, how to build that rich, healthy soil the way nature intended. We're going to talk about five incredible plants that work wonders, naturally boosting your soil's health without a single drop of synthetic fertilizer. It's about working with the earth, not against it. This isn't some complicated secret for master gardeners. It's a simple, beautiful process that anyone can embrace. Whether you have sprawling garden beds or a few pots on the patio, these plants can transform your space. And the best part? This approach is not only better for your garden and for the environment, but it also saves you money in the long run. It's about creating a self-sustaining ecosystem right in your own backyard. It's about building a legacy of healthy soil that will give back to you season after season. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's dig into the heart of what makes a garden truly thrive. I'm so excited to walk you through this. First up, let's talk about a real workhorse in the garden alfalfa. You might know it as feed for livestock, but its true magic lies beneath the surface. I think of alfalfa as the deep-rooted soul of the garden. Its roots are incredibly determined, pushing down, down, down into the earth, sometimes several feet deep. They're on a mission. And that mission is to break up heavy, compacted clay soil that can feel almost impossible to work with. It's like having a tiny team of tillers working for you around the clock. This plant doesn't just break up the soil, it goes on a treasure hunt. As those roots venture deep, they find and draw up essential minerals, like calcium, magnesium, and iron, that have been washed down below, far out of reach for most of your vegetable plants. Alfalfa brings these precious nutrients back up to the surface layers of the soil. It's an act of generosity, really. It's mining these treasures from the deep and making them available for the shallower rooted plants that will follow. When you see a patch of alfalfa growing, just imagine what's happening underground. It's creating channels for air and water to move freely, turning dense lifeless ground into a breathable welcoming home for future crops. It's a foundational plant, the one you bring in to do the heavy lifting and prepare the way. It's about setting a strong, nutrient-rich stage, ensuring that everything you plant next has the best possible start in life. It's a beautiful, hard-working beginning. Next, let's talk about one of my personal favorites, a plant that feels like an old friend in the garden, the humble pea. There's nothing quite like the taste of a freshly picked pea, but their gift to the garden goes so much deeper than what they offer our dinner plates. Peas, like other legumes, are what we call nitrogen fixers. It sounds technical, but the story behind it is just beautiful. They have this incredible partnership with tiny bacteria that live in nodules on their roots. Think of it as a quiet, cooperative community working right there in the dark soil. The pea plant provides a home for these bacteria, and in return, the bacteria do something truly miraculous. They pull nitrogen, an element that's abundant in the air but unusable for most plants in that form, and they convert it into a natural fertilizer that the plant, and the entire garden, can use. It's nature's own little fertilizer factory, running silently and efficiently, day in and day out. Planting peas means you are actively enriching your soil with every plant that grows. You're reducing or even eliminating the need for those bags of chemical nitrogen fertilizers. You're letting the garden feed itself. After you've harvested all those delicious peas, you can simply cut the plants at the base, leaving the nitrogen-rich roots in the ground to decompose and release their gift back into the earth. It's a cycle of giving that makes the soil richer for the next store you want to plant there. Now, I want you to picture a beautiful living blanket for your garden soil. That's exactly what crimson clover is. When I see a field of it in bloom, with those vibrant, cone-shaped red flowers, it just takes my breath away. It's stunningly beautiful, but its beauty is more than skin deep. Crimson clover is one of the best green manures or cover crops you can grow. Its purpose is to cover and protect the soil, especially during those off-seasons when a bed might otherwise sit bare and exposed. Leaving soil bare is like leaving a home empty and open to the elements. The sun can bake it, the wind can blow the topsoil away, 
and heavy rains can wash away precious nutrients. Crimson clover acts as a protective shield. Its dense network of roots holds the soil in place, preventing erosion. Above ground, its lush foliage shades the soil, keeping it cool and moist, which creates the perfect environment for all the beneficial life, the earthworms, the microbes, the fungi, that you want to encourage. When the clover has done its job, typically right after it flowers but before it sets seed, you simply mow it down or turn it into the soil. As it decomposes, it releases all the nutrients it has stored, adding a huge boost of organic matter. This process builds that dark, crumbly, sweet-smelling soil that every gardener dreams of. It's about feeding the soil itself, creating a rich, living ecosystem that will in turn feed your plants. It's a beautiful restorative process. Let's move on to a plant that might have a funny name but does some seriously amazing work hairy vetch. This one is a champion when it comes to creating a nutrient-rich mulch right where you need it. Hairy vetch is another legume, a vigorous vine that grows into a thick tangled mat of foliage over the soil. Like its cousin the pea, it's a fantastic nitrogen fixer, pulling nitrogen from the atmosphere and storing it in its leaves and stems. It's like a living, growing storehouse of fertilizer. The real magic of hairy vetch comes from how you manage it. In the spring before you're ready to plant your summer crops like tomatoes or corn, you come through and cut the vetch down at the soil level. You don't pull it out and you don't till it in. You simply leave the dense mat of cuttings right there on the surface of the bed. This is often called the chop and drop method, and it's one of the simplest and most powerful things you can do for your garden's health. As that green mat of vetch slowly decomposes over the next few weeks, it does several incredible things at once. It acts as a natural weed barrier, smothering out competing plants. It helps retain moisture in the soil, reducing the need for watering. And most importantly, it slowly releases all of that valuable stored nitrogen and other nutrients right back into the earth, just in time for your hungry new seedlings. You can plant right through that decomposing mulch, giving your new crops a perfect, nutrient-rich start. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about a plant I like to call the soil architect, the fava bean. This plant is a true multitasker, a master builder that improves the garden on so many levels. Fava beans, also known as broad beans, are incredibly robust. They have a strong, deep taproot that, much like alfalfa, works to break up compacted soil, creating pathways for air and water. But they also have an extensive system of fibrous side roots that help bind loose, sandy soil together giving it structure and stability. They are true architects, designing and building a better home for everything that will grow after them. And of course, being a legume, they are also busy fixing nitrogen. They form those same beneficial partnerships with bacteria, enriching the soil with every passing day. They are one of the best choices for a cool season cover crop, as they can be planted in the fall and will grow through the winter in many climates, protecting and improving the soil when it needs it most. When spring arrives, you have a garden bed with improved structure, better aeration, and a fresh deposit of natural nitrogen. Plus, if you time it right, you can get a delicious harvest of fava beans before you turn the plants back into the soil to prepare for your main season crops. They build, they feed, and they provide. They create a thriving, resilient foundation, a testament to the idea that a healthy garden is all about creating a system where every element works together in beautiful harmony. And there you have it, five incredible plants that are more than just plants. They are partners in creating a garden that is healthy from the ground up. Seeing how alfalfa, peas, clover, vetch, and fava beans can work together to build something beautiful and lasting, it's what this is all about for me. It's about understanding the story of the soil and playing a small part in its telling. It's a process that connects us more deeply to the food we eat and the land we tend. It's a simple, powerful rhythm I truly hope this inspires you to give one of these a try in your own garden. Start small. Pick one that speaks to you and see what happens. The journey of building great soil is a patient one, but it's one of the most rewarding things you can do as a gardener. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today, for letting me share a little piece of my passion with you. It means the world to me. If you enjoyed this and want to see more stories from the garden, more tips and tricks for creating a space you love, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow this little community, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. Until next time, happy gardening, and remember to take a moment to appreciate the good ground beneath your feet.